Hi guys, welcome down to the Monday Night Golf Show here. Myself, Rick Shields, and Peter Finch. And we're going to do swing analysis of Shan Shan Feng, who Indeed. has just demolished the field at the Amiga Dubai Ladies Masters at the Emirates Golf Course in obviously Dubai. I wish we could put it more subtly than that, but that she, she just destroyed, destroyed it. everyone. And it's a, I think it's a third victory there, which is, she likes that golf course. Yeah, she, she I think that. her first win there was 2012. She's never been to Dubai before. Rocks up and won, won it by five, I believe. And she just keeps getting better and better. And now obviously won it by 12 golf shots. What, yes. What's she going to do by next year? Come five, <laughs> five years' time, no one will turn up. <laughs> it's and Shan Shen wins by 54 shots. I think she likes that course. I think she likes it a lot. So we're going to do a swing analysis of Shan Shan today, who swings it very, very well. She's very powerful. She's 26-year-old at the moment. Um, and she... She's getting older every day, though. Well, as this, as this video goes live, she's 26. Okay. Up until the 5th of August. <laughs> <laughs> that a bit, freak, a bit freaky, a bit freaky, weird how much I know about Shan Shan. Um, so we, we've just been looking at a golf swing and noticing a few uh, key principles that you could even take into your game, but also some characteristics that she has in her own golf swing that I would almost see as being a little bit inconsistent to some degree. Mm -hmm. Obviously it didn't show up in this week's event, but she's, she's not winning every single week, so there's obviously features of a golf swing where she could, could, could become more consistent as well. So... You ready, Peter? I am. You're going to be the hitter? I bet I am. I'll be the setter-upper. So, <laughs> what we noticed in Shan Chan's setup, with, obviously we've got a driver swing on, on video here, um, looks a little bit closed. Looks like she's got her feet closed, and as the club goes back into the takeaway, halfway back, the club does go slightly inside the hands. Now, she, one of the things, characteristics that, that she does display quite heavily is that she sets her wrist very, very early in the golf swing. She gets her wrist set really early, but then ma maintains that wrist set during the top of the backswing. She never creates any more wrist set. She just sets it early and then rotates huge amounts in her shoulder, maintaining that same wrist set that she had halfway in the takeaway. Yeah, so it's very much a set and hold kind of technique. Obviously, led better and kind of some of the coaches mm. very, very kind of up on that kind of teaching. So the idea of that is once you get the wrist set and you can just maintain that angle, in some ways it eliminates some moving parts. So it eliminates kind of a gradual wrist set. It gets them set a little bit early and then you can hold that position for, well, until impact really when it starts to be released. So some merits to it. Yeah. Not my personal way of doing it, but... It, 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 it's just... I think it's quite hard to do. Once you, once you set early, you've got to really home it in of, of not setting it again. Because mm -hmm. you, you, be, you could be leaving yourself uh, open to setting again and then end up getting quite a long backswing because of it. So, once she sets, turns to the top of the swing. And then, I would say this is her most unique characteristic. Once she gets to the very top of the swing... So it's that set, then the turn... And then from there, it's a bit of a... It's a bit of a handsy kind yeah, of arms cool. moving outwards away from the body as the, as the actual golf club sets backwards. So the arms move forwards in front of her original hand plane as she went back, but the club actually sets back onto plane, which again is a movement that can be incredibly powerful and hit the ball an awful long way. It's just potentially not as consistent as it could be. If, if that club was to come down... If her hands were to go back on the plane as well, and that club go back down on plane, she's going to get really stuck and behind herself on the way down. Yeah, with um, with the hands and the arms going kind of from the top of the swing rather than, say, leading with the left hip kind of moving towards the target, which allows, I'm not, I'm not going to say a correct sequence, so obviously she hits it very well, but more of a more of a technically sound sequence to in the sync, swing. Or, uh, in sync. Yeah, in movement. sync. That, that first movement into the downswing is slightly out of sync, but... When she's actually coming down into impact, she actually manages to get it pretty much bang on plane. That's amazing. And because of the way that she set her wrist in the backswing, she doesn't actually need to flick or rotate her hands much to impact. But that was something oh. you really picked oh, up on, yeah, on the really video. Like the club comes through and it, it just doesn't do anything. It just stays so square to target because she's already got a preset already set in. So all, all she has to do is rotate. And that club face just stays so level to target and she just smashed it out there. And uh, I'm sure we'll continue into many more victories. So the big things you can take from this golf swing that, that setting early is good. You've just got to maintain the set. As long as the arms, if the, if the arms do move first, make sure the club sits back onto plane and then just rotate with no face rotation. 
and you will become the Amiga Ladies Dubai Masters Champion. By 12 shots. Comfortably. I'm going to hit shot because I can't stand in this position any longer without doing so. It's driving me crazy. And I'm out of here. Guys, thanks for watching. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's is, is, is good job we didn't hit the uh, hit the concrete there. Guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed you, the Monday night. You call it a mic drop, don't you? When you say something, you just kind of drop. Okay. Kids will know what I'm talking about. Oh, down with the kids you are, Pete. <laughs> Guys, thanks for watching the Monday Night Golf Shows. Do check out the main news show and the question and answers coming up very soon. Uh, thanks for watching. Well done, Shan Shan. And we look forward to doing more swing analysis in the future. And uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully that's going to help you improve a little bit of your golf and get you becoming a better ball striker. Wonderful. Thank you very much, guys. Appreciate the time you've spent with us. Well done. That was good hitting that, Pete. Thank you. It was a great shot. I'm it's happy with it. It's great hitting. That's why I dropped the club. <laughs> <laughs>